Okay, boys and girls, this is homework for Module 4, Lesson 6. It says find the value of each of the following. So we know we have a total of 12, so they went ahead and drew 12 diamonds, and our denominator tells us how many groups we need, so they went ahead and put them into three separate groups. So one-third of 12 is one out of, tw out of three, and that would be four. Two-thirds of 12, that would be two out of three, or two groups out of the three, and that would be four, eight. Or you can also do two times four, which gives you eight. And then three out of three would be all three of them. You can count all of them up, or you can also do three, which is in one, times how many groups there are, three groups, which is, um, sorry, there's four in each, sorry, which is 12, okay? B, there's a total of 20, so they did 20 diamonds, and they put them into four groups. One of those groups, or one-fourth of 20, is five. Two-fourths of 20, or two out of four of the 20, would could be five, which is in one group, times the two groups, which is 10, or you can count all of the diamonds, okay? Three-fourths of 20, or three out of the four, which would be one, two, three, we can do the five in one group times the three groups, which gives me 15, or I can count five, 10, 15. And then four out of 20 is 20. C, we have a total of 35. Here are the 35 diamonds, and they broke them up into five different groups. And here they are, one, two, three, four, and five different groups. So in one group, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in one group, or one-fifth of 35, we have seven diamonds. Two groups, one, two, we can add them seven plus seven, those two groups, or we can also do seven times the two groups, which is 14. Three groups, we can add seven plus seven plus seven in the three groups, or we can do seven, which is in one group, times the three groups, which is 21. Four groups, half five or four-fifths of 35, we can do seven plus seven plus seven plus seven, or we can do seven, which is in one group, and multiply it by how many groups we want, which is four, and that gives us 28. Five groups of, or five-fifths of 35 is 35, that's all of these groups. Six-fifths of 35, that wants us to add another group, which is, um, 7 plus 7 all the way to 6, or 7 times 6, which is 42. All right, number 2, find 2 thirds of 18. Well, in this case, they want us to um, draw a set and shade um, showing your thinking. So if I have 18 and I have to have three groups, go ahead and do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I have my three groups, and I need to break them up into three equal groups. Okay, and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in each group. I can also figure this out by taking my whole and dividing it by how many groups I need, and that would give me 6. So I have to have 6 in each group. Well, I need two of them. So I need this six and this six. I can do six plus six, which gives me 12, or six times two, which gives me 12. So therefore, two-thirds of 18 equals 12. You need to have this entire sentence. Don't just tell me 12, okay? 
Number three, how does knowing one-fifth of ten help you find three-fifths of ten? Draw a picture explaining. So I went ahead and I put ten dots in and I broke them up into five groups. And if I know that one-fifth of ten, you can see right here, is two, three-fifths of ten I know is that two times three groups, which gives me six. Okay, so I can go ahead and write out my explanation. So my expla explaining would be if I know that one, one fifth of ten is two, that is one group. Three groups would be two plus two plus two, which equals six, or two times three, which equals six. So three fifths of ten is six. Number four. Sarah just turned 18 years old. She spent four ninths of her life living in Rochester. So if she's 18, four ninths of her life in 18, she lived in Rochester, New York. How many years did Sarah live in Rochester, New York? So I have to have nine groups. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I have to have a total of 18. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So break these up, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, or again I can do 18 divided by how many groups I have, which is 9, that gives me 2, so there should be 2 in each group, which I have it, and I need 4 groups, so if I have 2 here, 2 here, 2 here, 2 here, 4 groups I can add them up, that would give me 2, 4, 6, 8, or I could do the 2 groups times how many um, groups I want, which is four, that gives me eight. So, oops, Sarah lived in Trochester for eight years. Okay, number five says a farmer collected 12 dozen eggs from her chickens. She sold five six of the eggs at farmers market and gave the rest to friends and neighbors. Okay, wants to know how many dozens did the farmer give away. So I'm going to kind of create a chart. So we know that she has twelve dozen eggs. Okay, she sold five six of the eggs. But we need to know how many eggs she had. We only know she has 12 dozen, so I know that there's 12 in a dozen. So if I multiply that, I'm going to get the number of eggs. So she has 144 eggs. Okay. Of that amount, 5, 6 of 144 she sold at the farmers market and then the rest she gave to neighbors so we want to know how much she gave away so I first need to figure out how much she sold so I'm not going to draw 144 but I do know that I'm going to have six groups one two three four five six one two three four five, six all the way to 144 so there are my six groups, but I need to figure out how much is in one group. And remember I told you before we can figure that out by taking 144 our total and dividing it by how many groups we have, and that will give us how many is in each group. Got to do my division. Goes two times. Bring down my four. That goes four times. Multiply, which gives me 24, zero. So, in each group there are 24. Okay. Well, we have five six of those, which means we need to have five groups. So in my work here, if I have five times 24, that'll give me how many she sold. So, zero, and my two. So she sold 120. Okay, that's what I know. She sold. The question asks, 
How many dozen did the farmer give away? How many eggs did she give away? So if she had a total of 144, here's my total number, she had a total of 144, and if I take away how much she sold, which was 120, she gave away 24 eggs. Okay, so here it asks how many she gave away. She gave away 24 eggs. And I know that a dozen has 12 in it. So if we have two dozen, we have 24. So she gave away two dozen eggs. Okay, and then number 10 says she sold each dozen for $4.50. Well, we know that she sold 120 eggs. But she sold each dozen for $4.50. How much did she earn from the eggs? We also know if she sold, if she gave away two dozen eggs and she had 12 dozen total, that means she um, sold 10 dozen. So she sold 10 dozen. So if I take how much she sold for each dozen and multiply it by 10, <coughs> add that up. One, two, one, two. She earned $45.